in in Lagos where the sad news of the death of televangelist and founder of the Snuggog Church of All Nations was announced in the early hours of today. Service did not hold in his church as a result of the sad news. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano was at his church. Now she brought uh, reactions by worshippers who are grappling painfully with the reality of his demise. This morning, when I woke up this morning, I have to go through the Facebook page, his Facebook page, and I discovered that a statement had been made concerning his death, confirming his death. So I was absolutely shocked, you know. Personally, I, I shed tears because of the work he has done, his, his humanitarian works, and the lives he has touched all over the world. It's unbelievable. If this man of God will please wake up, he has not finished assi his assignment. All of us, we are in a morning mood. Nobody is happy. It's an exemplary. A practical Jesus Christ in the physical human being, in my generation. It's more than 50 years I'm in Queen Synagogue Church. He just delivered me just last month in my leg. T.B. Joshua is a great man. He's a kind man, nobody like T.B. Joshua. Well, our purpose of 10 years is not for anything. We have no business. We have no any construction or any other business. It's because of the, the church in question. And man of God has a way of doing this. He makes sure that there is food go to our mouth. It's a big loss to the whole world, most in Nigeria, because we know the amount of revenue that he creates for Nigeria. I smell a lot from Seme when I heard this morning, just to find out maybe it's real or not. On getting here, I found out that the man is 